Well, a joint United Kingdom-Australian project is seeking to better map and understand outer space. The move comes as NASA stresses the need for Australia and the United States to cooperate in order to stay at the forefront of the space race. Well, joining me now live is the CEO and Managing Director of SmartSat, Professor Andy Coronius. Andy, uh, Professor, really appreciate your time. Can you tell us more about this project and what SmartSat aims to do? Yes, certainly. Thank you. Uh, this is a very exciting project for us and a great uh, collaboration between our two countries, uh, the UK and uh, Australia. Uh, the UK-Australia uh, Space Bridge have began about a year ago and it is aimed for us to collaborate, to exchange information, exchange knowledge, exchange technology, so that we can collaborate in, um, in space technologies. As you, we all know, economic growth requires innovation, and innovation is, uh, happens through R&D primarily, and that's what SmartSat is. SmartSat is the largest um, R&D, space R&D organization in Australia. And we have partnered on this project as a first step to understand particularly our re respective industries. Uh, this particular repository of capability already looks at the various organizations that make our industries and allows us to be able to see who does what what are the strengths, what are the capabilities, and how might we identify gaps or areas for collaboration so that we can indeed work together to develop new technologies and new opportunities for our respective countries. And the smarts at CRC, do, together oh. with our friends... Our friends... Uh, no, go, go uh, ahead, the, Professor. Yeah. Uh, I was just going to ask you, Professor, uh, how do you actually map space? Like, is it is it the simple ability of using satellites or having to launch things into space to be able to do that? Or how, what's the process? Now, we, you can very easily map space through uh, astronomy and through uh, space situational awareness, through technologies. But this project is not about mapping space. This project is about mapping the space industry in Australia and the mapping the, uh, the space industry in the UK. In other words, identifying what companies exist, whether they are small companies, whether they are startup companies, and it provides a visibility of the actual industry and what they are doing, what work they are doing, what uh, research and development needs they have, and so on. So it's not about mapping space itself. It's very much about mapping the capabilities that exist here on Earth so that we can develop space technologies, which of course have many, many applications uh, here on Earth. Uh, for instance, our first project uh, with the space um, uh, catapult, the space applications catapult in the UK last year, was to fund five projects that brought together Australian industry, startups and other companies, together with their UK uh, counterparts. And then they collaborated with our great research universities here in Australia and the UK to develop new innovations, such as, for instance, uh, yeah. in increasing the productivity of agriculture or better communications and so on. I'm, I'm pleased you clarify the uh, the mapping element for that because I know, no doubt, you know, all sorts of space technologies might be needed to actually map an image and see what's going on in space. But given that you're looking at the capabilities, particularly of, say, the Australian and the UK industry, there's going to be a really interesting event coming up at the end of this month with the Avalon Air Show here in Victoria where all sorts of defence capabilities will be on show and space is starting to become a big part of defence capability. So what will you be seeking to do at that air show and uh, essentially uh, try, aim, aim to, to, to map out, essentially, with all sorts of industries? Yeah, absolutely. I think the, the Avalon Air Show 
is much broader than my remit, but certainly there will be some very exciting both defense and space companies and applications at the Avalon uh, Space uh, uh, Show. However, for us, we will be having, we will be meeting with our UK counterparts and planning the next phase of this supply chain, industry supply chain catalog that we are developing so that we can uh, enable companies, Australian companies and the UK companies to actually be able to discover similar companies, discover opportunities and, and broaden and open the markets for themselves rather than restricting it to Australia. Space, as you know, is very, very complex, very expensive and very hard. So a fledgling Australian space industry does require to play globally. And the UK is a natural partner for us to be able to do that. Oh, good luck at the air show. Hope it all goes well. And, uh, and, and hopefully, you, you know, there might be a few more companies coming online with space technology, particularly in Australia, as that space race continues. CEO and Managing Director of SmartSat, Professor Andy Coronius, thanks very much for your time.